Hi, I wanted to walk you through how I cut the stencils for my projects. Um, this one is specifically geared towards the snowflake bolster pillow. Here is the trick to making everything work. Generic freezer paper. You can get it anywhere. Um, the day I found out that I could be using freezer paper to make stencils, uh, the whole world changed, let me tell you. I take the freezer paper, get a nice size sheet, and I put it down on plywood. You could use a cutting board, uh, just a hard surface because your cutting tool will leave marks. I tape it down with just good old masking tape, and then I print off a graphic that I would like to use, a free graphic, by the way. Uh, this is free for use, copyright free. I tape down my graphic, and to cut out the snowflakes, I'm going to take my cutting tool, and I am going to cut along the dark part of the snowflake, like so. And then I am going to pull that out. And I will do that with all of the dark areas. As you can see, it comes out. And this is the stencil that I made by doing that. I cut out all the areas. And I just keep going until all of the dark spots are cut out. Obviously, I'm not going to... Uh, do this entire stencil while we are on the video but that is how I cut the stencils out um, this one was a little bit more intense uh, some of them will take you quite some time to do but when they're done it is an iron-on stencil that you can use up to three times in a project uh, it makes unique projects. You can pick and choose. Either you draw your own snowflake, you print it off, and you use it to make your stencil, or you find free-to-use graphics, and you can do it that way. But all you do is cut along those areas. Make sure when you are cutting, you are not... Uh, you leave space, white space, in between those areas. That is what creates your stencil. If I would cut this area right here too small, I wouldn't have the blank space needed to create the shape of the snowflake on my stencil. You need to have, um, oh golly gee, reverse... You need to have that middle space there, which is what creates the stencil and the shape. Um, so this is kind of a reverse stencil. You are cutting out the object to make a reverse stencil so that when you paint it in on your fabric, it will look exactly like this print. So it's not hard to do. It is tedious and it takes some time. Uh, maybe uh, set yourself up in front of the TV so that you can listen to your favorite television shows while you cut your stencils. It's not hard to do, but it does take time. I plan it out beforehand what I'm going to use, how many. If I am planning to use a stencil more than three times, I'll double up my freezer paper and I will cut both stencils at the same time. As long as you have a sharp blade on your X-Acto knife, you can cut through both layers. So, it, like I said, it's a little tedious and it takes time, but the results are definitely worth it. So, 
I hope that this helped you understand how to cut your own stencils better. And I hope that you try the project. The pillow turned out really, really cool. Talk to you soon. Bye.